Revelation: The truth about Jim Ike's deliverance in synagogue. This movie with Jim Ike. Oh my God, what I'm going to do to him today? <laughs> Nollywood actor and bad boy Jim Ike has made a shocking revelation about his alleged deliverance in the synagogue church of all nation in Lagos, which went viral on social media a while ago. In this exclusive interview with Hip TV. Jim Ike shared his side of the story. When I got to that church, um, I was told that the only condition for him to pray for my mom is that I come to church and I blatantly refused. I was upstairs in the executive room for a long time and they kept saying that was the only condition. And my sisters and I, three of my sisters went there with my PA and my Mopo, yeah? They were all there and we had a meeting and said, listen, go to church, there's no big deal, let me just pray for, for my mom. I would go to that church 10 times go under that embarrassment a hundred times. I went there, I remember the guy crossed me, and I was laughing, well, my sister was pinching me, like, why are you laughing? This is serious. I said, this, this is a chariot, man, everybody just acting up. This is a big movie to me. Let me just call this man to touch mom, say, let's go, you understand? And next thing, he came in front of me and touched me, and they said I was trying to pick up my shoes and I was saying some things. I cannot explain that phase of my life. I'm giving the explanation I know. Jim Ike further stated what the case would have been at the synagogue if not for the illness of his late mom. It, what it made me understand is how far I'm willing to go for someone I love. If Satan himself at that point, of course I know better, tells me that he will heal my mom and take my soul, I'll give my soul. So it was a small price to pay for someone that supported me all my life that I love more than anything in this world. And that was the reason I took that leap. It was, to a lot of people, it was embarrassing. To me, it was nothing like that. I did it for my mom. And beginning and end of the story. Utterly disappointed that his mom wasn't healed after the experience at the synagogue, the actor claimed what was advertised to him wasn't what he got. Of course, it hurt me to no end that what was advertised was not met. Because at the end of the day, he didn't heal her. But I, for a long time, I carried that hurt and the anger in my heart. But no, when my son came, I said, what the hell? Here I am blessed with the greatest blessing of my life, and I'm still holding on to this. It's not him, you know, it's not, I'm not holding him cap captive. He's holding me captive. And I did what I had to do. I sat down, spoke word of life into my son, and said, for you, I'll let this part of my history go. And I've let it go. And it's as simple as that.